2021. Hey, hope it's better than 2020. Let's hope. Um, we are drinking tonight. I am drinking <laughs> halfway through already. Stella Rosa Ruby Rose Great Fruit. This is good. Again. Stella <laughs> Rosa Ruby. <laughs> I said Ruby Red. <laughs> Stella, like Stella Rosa Ruby Red. <laughs> Stella Rosa Ruby Rose Grapefruit. Got it. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Seriously, on a good, on a good. This is really good. So, um, we're bringing to you our book to movie adaptation conversation of yeah. Enola Holmes. Who's pick? It was absolutely your pick because anything that's slightly juvenile. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. At least, Lynn, at least Lynn picked the tween adult. Usually, <laughs> you went all the way to the left. No, this oh, is, you can't, you, it, it, somebody too young couldn't understand this book. That's true. Uh, that's yeah, true. no, this is, be, this is well beyond tween. But it's, um, how'd you guys like it? How'd you like the book? Well, first, um, it's the first book and a series of six. The first book came out in 2006. The last book mm-hmm. came out in 2010. And the first book is what we're reviewing. And that was directed by Harry um, Bradbeer. <laughs> I was like, beer, what? Anyways, um, the wow, author book. Act all professional and Nancy- stuff. <laughs> I have done some research, okay? Um, Dancy Springer and the screenplay was by Jack Thorne. Yes. So I'm curious, are there any other movies to the series? It has not been announced yet. I looked it up and they have not announced it yet. Okay. Because I will say after reading this book one and watching the movie, there is a desire to watch additional of the series. Yes, there is. That's- is very true. I agree. Um, I didn't know what to expect, but the book was already good. But then when a movie came on, I was and she was just like in your face, and I'm like, oh, I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't yeah. she just like you would picture her though? Yes, exactly. It was. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, cheers to me. <laughs> Rhea, you get your brownie point for this book, okay? The book was good. I, I Actually, it was nice reading it. It was easy to follow. It was a really quick read. Um, and like I said, I feel like I may read some additional ones just because I, I kind of want to follow this path of hers. Mm-hmm. Um, and the storyline is it like her mom dynamic and these adventures that her mom were on were really, that seemed to be about female empowerment. Yes. And, uh, so I was excited to see where that was going. Um, so yeah, anyway, yeah, you get a star. You have now made up for that other garbage from last year. Yeah. <laughs> 100%, 100% made up for that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I told you how you would love this. Okay. Yeah, you you know that you, we were going to like the other one too, but okay. Yeah, she thought we were going to like Artemis now, so. Yeah. She knew we were going to love <laughs> 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 And so that trailer came out and she was like, what? Right. She was like, wait a minute. (laughs) More to come on that one, too. What's that? I said more to come on that one, too. You know, we got if we start off with one, you got to continue the series. So what did you all think of the book? I actually love the book. Um, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So the (laughs) storyline. So for me, I think it was just cool. I mean, the story, first of all, the setting of the whole um, book, um, you know, takes you back to a a climate we do not want to live in. Um, But it really set the stage. Well, what do you mean by the limited number of African-Americans? Um, well, no, I'm just saying from the book, just the setting of the book, the setting of um, those times when you had to wear your corset so tight. You oh, the women. Like, okay. Yes. And mm-hmm. the hair pinned up a certain kind of way and you yeah. walk and you eat and you talk and you do not wear the knickers on your legs. You don't uh, wear what? The knickers. <laughs> Gosh, sensitivity training. 
Um, so yeah, so um, I thought that was interesting. That's actually what draw that what drew me in in the beginning. Um, and then you know the whole mystery of what happened to mom, and then of course her famous brother that comes into the picture, um, and how they treat her and how she's treated just amongst everybody in her community and throughout the whole journey. I, mean, I just thought it was a really interesting story. I don't want to spoil the end of it for folks who haven't read it yet. Read it. But we're here it's good. for her. I like it's the great. book. And I, it was like really easy to follow and kind of like easy to imagine as like she was going through like the steps by step, like by like everything with uh, meeting um, like different characters and me envisioning like my craft versus me envisioning um, like Sherlock. It was just I really enjoyed the book. Like it was easy to follow and kind of flow along. So I enjoyed it. Well, because I didn't read it at all, for some reason, I thought she was Sherlock's daughter. So I was I was very happy <laughs> to read it. I'm like, oh, that's her brother. Because the age difference just, you know, I, I thought maybe she was the daughter of Sherlock Holmes. But anyway, I love the dynamics and I loved like throughout the book. And then, of course, in addition to the movie, like they just showed the dynamic between them and like, Sherlock seemed to be the only one that just really had some real vibrant memories of her and just you could see the connection early on between um, Sherlock and Enola whenever they had a dialogue as opposed to the other brother who was an ass. So this is probably one of the few books that I feel the movie overshadowed the book for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I I really can't say whether because the movie was just that good or whether it was just Sherlock Holmes himself. Oh, yes. (laughs) Yes. It was a gorgeous man there. Yes, it was. Gorgeous man. (laughs) I could not wait for him to come back. Henry Cavell played Superman. His nice chiseled jaw. Yes. Ideal Superman, yes. So, yeah. I agree, Champagne. The movie, I actually thought the movie was so much better than the book. And I like the book, but um, I started off getting a little frustrated because, like, the whole way that she sort of linked up with the um, what the Duke or whatever the young man was. I don't know what it, what it was. Yeah. The uh, young man that um, they were trying. What was that? Tewksbury? Yes. Because the book really focused in on the fact that she looked like um, someone that was going to the funeral, but they added a little bit more dynamics with the train ride and all of that stuff. So I was getting frustrated, like, why did they change that? But then it went on and they incorporated what was in the book. Um, but I don't know. They just they made it so much more dynamic. That whole scene with the mother in the room with all those women and then yeah. that lecture of the um the african-american woman with sherlock holmes like i just i loved all of that dynamic so i'm with you the movie was better than the book to me yeah i love the diversity i would i really didn't expect the diversity but i love that they incorporated everybody from chinese to everybody agree i really like the book but i like the movie better and but the only thing that I wish they did more of in the book, I mean, the movie was to show more of a connection between Sherlock and Anolia. They mm-hmm. showed a little bit like when they were around the tree kind of talking. And then mm-hmm. at the end, when he was expressing the Minecraft that he wanted him her to like live with him. And it was like kind of overshadowed, but yeah. not as much as it was in the book that like every time they conversed, they had like chemistry and like memories. Mm-hmm. So that was the only thing that I would add. But for me, the movie was better than the book. And that's yeah. very rare in my case. <laughs> <laughs> I think for all of us, it's very rare. <laughs> um, but I agree, to me, I it's like- almost it's almost like, um, of course, this didn't happen, but the book was really, really good. But it just, um, when you're reading the book, and you finish it, it was it was a really a great book. But then when you go to the movie, it's just like, oh, OK, God, there are so many ways you could have expand. We can expand on something, you know, after the book's written, of course. Um, so I think that's kind of what, you know, they thought about when they were putting it together, because it, it, it did make it much even more entertaining than I already, you know, I already thought it was. So, yeah, because the mother appearing at the end of the movie like, right. I love that because in the book, I don't know that I fully grasp her dy- the dynamic between why she left and yeah. the fact that, oh, I really do love you, but this is what happened. Like, I couldn't, I didn't wrap my head around that in the book. It just kind of left me wondering. So I feel like the movie brought some conclusion for yeah. it. Uh, yeah. To it for me yeah. To make me feel like, oh, yes, mama. Right. 
But <laughs> or in the book in the movie for me. I felt because I was I, in the I felt it more in the book of like why she left, why she let Anoya kind of like venture out on her own in the book more than did in the movie. In the movie, I was kind of just like it may look like oh, well, here, I'm going to go do my thing and good luck, and I hope I taught you right how to be strong. So mm-hmm. I, I feel the opposite about that. Yeah. Uh, I think it's because of how much they how much they put into all of the, 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 the clues and the letters. I think that she allowed her, you know, she left her all these little things that honestly in the book, to me, it's obvious that she cared about her, that she was trying to help her through this process. Um, but I felt like seeing some of the things, seeing it all fall into play was kind of cool in the, in the movie. Um, Definitely. But I do, I do think that there are some parts where I was just like, Oh, but I don't think Enola grasped as much of uh, my mom really loves me in the book. I don't think it was expressed enough. I think we could read through it, read between the lines and figure that out. But I think in the movie, they made it more obvious. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. Also, with the normally, you know, I don't like them changing the ending of the movie from the book, but I think they had to because they would have left us hanging like they did kind of in the book. We didn't really know about where the mother was and all this. I think I would have been <laughs> disappointed. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. So that's what I agree with you. I needed that. Like I needed them. I needed to hear the mama talk. Like right. this is what happened. This is that was my oh yeah so or something. Be like oh. oh. Uh, Right. Right. But that's why I love the end of the book. Yeah. yeah. I mean, end of the movie. Right. And see, I would have rather it just not happen. And then four books later, you, you know, or four movies later, you kind of flash back or you find out. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. No, I hear what you're saying. Or had the rest of the series in. <laughs> I, I would agree if it was guaranteed that we were going to get the additional movies. Oh, we're getting additional yeah. movies. If we they were better. already made. Well, yeah. when did this movie come out? September, September, 2020. Oh, oh, this movie just came out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I speak. Gotcha. Okay, so there's a possibility of more movies. I thought the movie was a little bit older, but okay. No, I just can't. I would put that book out the window if I had to wait um, (laughs) the mother again at the end. Uh, Yeah, I'm just curious. Like, what? Is this a book that you read? Or how did we get here with this book? Like, what prompted you? So what I would do is tell you none of your business. (laughs) Well, you know, I am this, I love like mysterious how, who, you know, Sherlock Holmes, obviously it was something that when I was younger, I absolutely loved. I love mystery. I love that. Who did it? What? Like that is me all day long. Yeah. That's why I thought it would be fun. And of course I um, want to, get us prepared for when we start doing more of these um, types of things with the youth. So just, you know, I'm always going to be that one trying to splatter in a, a little something, something for the youngins. Okay. Yeah. I just, I didn't know how this book got on your radar. So I appreciate that explanation. Cause um, thank you for exposing me to Enola. Cause I don't, there's no way I would have ever picked up that book. Never. <laughs> there's more to come. Don't worry. Oh, Okay, great. There'll be plenty of those. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, uh, still in my book. Huh? How did you like? Oh, go ahead, Lynn. Sorry. No, I was saying with um, Ray and I and our combination of like yes. young teen, young white, and oh, books. Gosh. Also, a little bit of murder, death, kill with the Stevie King. So you know, we're always just challenging and pressing cause <laughs> see i don't mind the murder and the death i don't like the spooky and the scary and the goblins and googlings um, and i've been fortunate because all the ones that we've chosen as supposedly horror has not been not for me oh don't worry there's Same more to come is that a challenge there's no, more to come <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and the bed, oh. much right now <laughs> more to come <laughs> how did you how, how else did you guys like um some of the cast the cast oh my god okay so wait the mom absolutely in love with her because y'all already know and dora I'm a super, super fan of harry potter and she's in harry potter and she fits that that look for <laughs> shut up treva <laughs> but she's phenomenal in harry potter so i right. love her uh, 
Um, That's great, but now we're talking about Enola Holmes. So uh, <laughs> I was talking about that. But I'm saying also in Sweeney Todd, and I love her. Love her. So, yeah. Okay, now let's bring it back. How did you like her hair? Who was she? Who was her? How you like me now? So Enola was played by Millie Bobby Brown, who was also 11 in Stranger Things. She's something else. She played in something else too. We just we watched uh, in Stranger Things. No, I didn't see that. So what? yeah, I didn't see that. Sorry. It'll I'm, come to her. It'll come to her. Think about, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It'll come to her. This is. is this is Champagne always remembers who where someone was. <laughs> I, I, I know that name. But I loved her. I mean, she nailed that that character. Like Definitely. if they ever try to replace her with another one, I think we'll be disappointed. But I need them to hurry up and finish the rest of the movies before she grows up too fast. Right. Uh, because I think, you know, she is Miss Holmes. <laughs> yeah, 100%. It's Hollywood. They can get her young. You just snip, snip, cut, cut, tip, tip. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So um, the other brother who was an ass, um, I actually liked his character, too. He nailed My, Who was played by Sam Coughlin. Now, do, do you have any notes on where he was? Because he looked very familiar, but I couldn't place where I'd seen him before. I did not take notes on where I seen him before, but I remember his face. I mean, if you gonna take notes, Lynn, okay. you gotta take them right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do from now on? <laughs> <laughs> the um the guy who played the bad guy who was chasing him around on the um the train. Yeah, I thought for I, I said this guy has to be related to Will, William Defoe. Oh, is that his name? He played um, in Spider Man as a villain. Mm -hmm. you know? I'm not you know, sure. He's he got a hard face like that, and I was like, oh my god, he looks just like that guy. But he was a great. I mean, for the little role that he did have, he was pretty was good. Was he related to him? Were you able to look it up? No, I did not. I completely did not look it up. Oh. Yeah, William Defoe. He was in a bunch of stuff. He's like a one of those iconic type actors. Oh, I have to see his face. Um, um, champagne. Did you? Was it? Um, god dang it. Um, I thought it said Pirates of the something that that other guy was in. Sam Claflin. Is that how you pronounced his name, Lynn? Who is that? Which one is that? That was the um, the brother, the rude brother. Oh. He played in Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. I was, I was wondering, that's not the movie you were thinking about? He mm -hmm. did. I thought it said Pirates of the something. I'm obsessed with those movies, and I don't remember his face. Well, they all had, like... Something. Yeah, he was in Pirates of the Caribbean. He was uh, Philip Swift. Philip Swift? Yeah, I don't know that is. Oh, wait a minute. You guys, how stupid are we? In it. Yes. Hunger the Games. Pick. From Hunger Games. Oh, yes. Really? Finnick. He was yes. Finnick. Yep, he was Finnick. Okay, that makes sense now. I'm, I'm seeing Finnick right now, so. I'm I'm from there. I love the wheels turning on Champagne's face right now. Right. <laughs> We're just like, hmm, Finnick. I thought it was a movie for a minute, like Finnick, Finnick. <laughs> because he's, you know, he's so much older now, but you can, you know, you gotta just, it looks very different, knock it back, but he's a very handsome guy. Really? I didn't think yeah. he was handsome. Oh, yeah, I remember but, now. Um, I didn't think he was handsome on um this no, movie. He was no, not, not this movie. He wasn't as handsome, but I think he's still a handsome guy. He's you guys think Henry guy. Cavill is handsome. I don't, just don't think he's handsome at all. Oh, Who, Sherlock? Are you, yeah. are you crazy? Yeah. Are you, are you like Superman? Yeah, he does. Okay. Are you feeling okay? Um, yeah. This is how he always, the, every Superman looks to me. Yeah, they suppose, no, not like that. No. <laughs> oh, <what is> that? <laughs> they're, they're, they're always trying so hard to make that little go up just a little bit. Can you just make the Superman face again? Just. <laughs> <laughs> get a snapshot of that one. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my God. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, Sherlock is gorgeous. Um, Henry Cavill or Cavill, whatever his name is. Sherlock forever now. Superman forever. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I, I just thought that man was so good looking. I don't know. He was like Jon Snow-ish. Mm. Are you yeah. freaking kidding me? I'm but just... I really wanted to see Robert Downey Jr. play Sherlock only because of the Sherlock oh. movies from before. And if they tied them together, it would have made like a whole yeah. big mind blowing. Oh, I think he's getting too old, right? But I agree with you. Robert Downey Jr., 
he is awesome in those types of roles. Well, yeah, there's one that already came out with him before, so I figured like I'm gonna like tie them together, but it's okay. Maybe, the- maybe in the future, in the future movies, they could bring him in as you know, as people start to age a little bit. Okay. Right. Like okay. if Anola starts to age a little bit and then Sherlock ages, because right now, like the last movie I saw Robert Downing in um you can which i think was the last iron man you know you can see him age although you know what you're right Ray. they can make people younger so but um really no, all right so uh back to this uh comparison here pull your ears back about seven miles tuck your eyebrow eyes eyelids and although make I, don't a little care how much he ages. I think he's I, I love robert downey jr i have a lot of um i mean from the rat pack or what do you call it the breakfast club pack days <laughs> I can't remember. Stay almost five. Yeah, he can do no wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, so what do you what did you guys um think about the adaptation though? I think it was a great adaptation. I think it was great. It was perfect for me. I did too. Oh, okay, okay. I know you don't like the changes, and I know earlier Y'all. you said you were okay with this one, but I was just checking. Yeah, this one I'm okay with the changes. Y'all ready to vote? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I also first had about three full glasses, so that's what it gets from me. <laughs> three full glasses? Okay, we'll make it four, right? <laughs> full glass for me. Full glass. Full glass for me. Okay, Ray, you need one more glass. <laughs> Good job, Ray. Nah, uh huh. Celebrate. Uh huh. Get it all out right now. Just in case. Because she knows she's going to mess up. You know right. she's going to mess up, and she knows she's going to mess up the rest of this year. Right. right now. <laughs> you will never, ever, ever get a mess up like Artemis Fowl, because that was not my mess up. That was the producers of the freaking movie. And I'm praying that they try again with the next book and get it right this time. <laughs> Ray, can I just say this about this? It wasn't just the movie. It the book was. was so. I yep. don't even know what it was about. The book was the horrible. Book, the next book is better. If it just would take out I some of the animation. We'll never find out whether the second book <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we made her read the second book of Fifty Shades of Grey series. So we have to read the second book what? if it comes to a movie of Artemis Fowl. Well, just see when, you know. when I don't like your voice to freeze them. <laughs> I don't right now. No. Like your voice of reason, and I don't know why you're incorporating it into this podcast right now. Well, <laughs> well for adding a deep thinker to the group. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> All, right. All right, so it gets a it gets a, a full bottle from us. Um, again, we are drinking Stella Rosa Ruby Rose Grapefruit Grapes. Yes, ma. We got and big and plan for this year, you guys. Get ready. <laughs> We will be posting on our website. We will be posting on Instagram. We will have events going on. If you can join in, join in. If you can finish the book before you join in so we can have a conversation, great. If you don't get to finish the book and you don't get to watch the movie and you can't participate in that, those conversations, drink something. Come along anyway. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. So oxygen in that sentence. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Because we're ready. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Bye.